it around and cut it off. Um, we could try it on the paper cutter. But that looks kind of nasty. It's got like a big weight thing on it. Looks okay, it's just a little scary. Um, it may, it's probably going to be outside my image area anyway, so. Let's just try it. Um, can I get to it? Let's see, how can I get to it? Somebody else want to cut this plate? No. start thinking about four plates lining up on the press right from the get-go. So when you make your transparencies, obviously digitally it's going to have four that are the same size. But when you cut your plates, you need to think about that too. When I'm on the paper cutter, I'll make a little wall of masking tape uh, so that all my plates line up, you know, they butt right up to that wall and they, I don't have to visually make sure that things line up, they just butt right up. That way I'll have four the same size. I mark which way is top in case they don't cut exactly squarely because sometimes they can be really off if one's turned upside down. How do you register the transparency to the plates and make sure that's that the eyeball? Eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> that's the eyeball. Yeah, which is getting trickier every day. <laughs> um, I tried doing some kind of um, you know, using the Photoshop uh, crosshairs. Oh, yeah, you know, the thing is, you lay the glass down, everything moves. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I think what I've been doing is printing the crosshairs, the crop marks on there, and then actually exposing the plate with the crop marks, and then trimming afterwards. I so tried that too. Did it work? Well, I don't necessarily get it exactly the same. Right. Put your screen on top. Emulsion to emulsion is always the rule. So make sure you got the right side of the screen going down. Try to get some of the dust off the glass. Do you have any dots put into that um, that screen glass? Sorry? Dots? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I think you can buy. Yeah, you buy them as octant screens, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're very, they vary. Yeah, yeah. Does it matter that it's a binder? Yeah. Okay, now you can see that blue light coming on. Okay. 90 seconds. If you do it outside of the sun, is it still says 90 seconds? Okay. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. So that nine zero. It changes depending on your light box. So you do need to do some tests. Yeah. I would do the test with the Aquatint screen, if you're going to be using it, to make sure that you have a black. But don't be fooled by the first black you see, because these plates will hold an incredible amount of ink. Yeah. So if your timing's not long enough, you're going to be holding a lot more ink down in there than you need to be holding. And then you won't be able to get your whites, because you've still got too much tone down. You know, the plates are too dense with ink. Um, um, so do, do a bunch of tests on your Aquatint screen until you know that you've got that right. With a digital image, that's pretty much the same time as my Aquatint screen because they're both digital screens. Mm -hmm. So if I figure out that it's 90 seconds for the Aquatint screen, then I'll go 90 seconds for the, the image. And I might want to adjust that if I need to, but that's a pretty good ballpark. <coughs> um, if, if you've got a different, I've got a different unit at home, um, like a Newark machine, the lights are much further away, mm -hmm. so it's a different time entirely. Mm -hmm. Why are you areas? It? No, I understand why you're using it for the dark areas, but when they lock up the white areas, the cookies are done. Um, no, what it's doing is um, it's just like you you don't know, etch them. Yeah. Okay, so if you think about your aqua tint, you do spray paint or rosin. Okay, so your rosin dots yeah. are going to make white spots, right? Right. But it still prints black because there's enough tape to fill in those areas around. Right. But if you didn't have those rosin spots there, you'd have no open closet. Right. 
right, I get that, but I'm worried about the white area. The white burns out because the transparency yeah. turns white because the emulsion is white. Right, because I haven't developed anything yet, there's nothing really on the plate that I can't undo. <laughs> it's really hard. Just, just, just take it for faith, but it's hard to Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now you're supposed to want to have a very small space. Have they out. Yeah. Okay. okay, now we're going for the image. Another 90 seconds. Okay, let me get to the time that I can actually remember. Why would you use image that's created on laser in terms of digitally, I don't think it makes a difference whether it's laser print or inkjet. I haven't noticed a difference. Um, you can use, if you haven't done solar plates before, you can use all sorts of images. You just need a translucent material. So you can do graphite on frosted mylar. You can do ink on mylar. You can do Xerox on acetate. All, all sorts of things. But you'll have different times. And if you're using something that doesn't have an embedded dot, then you have to use the aquatint screen. Continuous tone image, you have to use the aquatint Yeah, if I wasn't using the aquatint screen on this, I would just do 90 seconds. <coughs> Essentially, I'm putting in those little dots and then I'm bringing them back to white in the white areas. And could you uh, print your 4 C Y K separate them to do your. Uh... So there's a magnet yes. underneath that. Plate. Okay, the nice thing about the plates is that they're steel backs. So if you put them on a magnet, they don't go anywhere. They don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the magnet is not going to be for that thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to quickly. I love this water. Yeah, yeah. Just water. And the brush is uh, soft? The brush is very soft. Uh -huh. uh, I bought it from Jean Becker in New York. Okay. I heard you can do it with the paint pads, like the, the, to paint the wall. <laughs> um, yeah, or a shoe, shoe shine brush. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay. I thought I'd done it with the water had to be like 68 degrees. Nah. No, no, no. Just water. Okay. It says that in the book, but even Dan says now he's, he's done other things. <laughs> you probably don't want it hot. Uh, yeah. I don't remember what time I is it, is it okay just to have it cold then? Yeah. Okay. Room temperature. I'm trying we to do this so you can see, but I'm not. Yeah. We don't get it. We're not getting hot. We're washing the floor at the same I don't time. Just, I don't use distilled, <laughs> but I guess it depends what's in your water. Yeah. You said these are called solar plates? What's that? What are the plates called? Again? Solar plates? Solar. 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 Okay. And where do you buy them? You can buy them from, directly from solar plate. Okay, now I'm going to quickly dry this because the water is Don't scrub the newsprint on top because the emulsion is still very soft. So I just kind of pat it. Lights. 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 Lights.